now you have come to you are an acclaimed author brilliant book that you have written it's a must read for all the school institutions and also the teachers to get so many answers from that book now what is your plan for the next 10 years so first of all uh, a small correction i'll make i'm not an acclaimed author right i've read your so, book it's so, really nice <coughs> it is only my experience okay. that i'm trying to to bring in and share it uh, the my last book that you are mentioning mm. is nothing but the questions which i have been receiving for past 10 years or so and i thought that why not write an answer to them and give some commentary on it and let everybody read it it right? is very knowledgeable so uh, it should be this is what i am expecting that you know sometimes even if you are very experienced and mm. something you you come across certain situations where you are looking for some hints mm. and some clues mm. as to how to deal with situation mm. you know so even if in one of the answers i say uh, that look um, have a glass of water before taking a decision that itself makes a difference right yes because uh, why to have a yeah. glass of water before taking a decision it will delay your decision making process and give time to think and give time this to think such a beautiful point you see doctor. because what happens is that when you know there is a saying that never take any decision in two situations when you are too high on emotion and too low and and You you can just convert it also when you are too happy or too angry. Yes, yes. So avoid these two situations, and how to avoid it? Drink water, take some breath, move around consciously. You know, it is only the last sixty seconds between you thought of deciding something and you decided something. These sixty seconds are the crucial ones. So If you can manage that, you are through. your plans for the next coming so period. plans for the next coming year so i have decided now this is my third book mm. two i have authored and one i edited and i god should help me every year i want to write one book wow wow every year okay. so this is number one and number two i want as long as it is possible for me i should keep sharing my experiences with teachers with aspiring leaders with current leaders and make whatever contribution i can in the field of education really and some some golden words for entap golden words for entap i was just talking to uh, your founder and i complimented him that uh, it is one of the very few organizations which has believed in the power of networking and bringing these educators on one networking platform where they can learn with each other where they can share each other's practices i think it is a brilliant idea you see i personally believe that if you have not shared anything in life mm. your life has not been worth living we are so thankful right? you shared so, your so, such so, beautiful experience thank you very much us. it's been great talking to you and uh, today you made me say something which i have not said all what, these years what, what, so. i want to know that <laughs> First Thank of all, you, lastly, you. we want yeah. the memories that we have in mm -hmm. Entap created with you today to stay very deep into Absolutely. our heart. Absolutely. So you want me to sign a cup here? Mugs. Where do you want me to sign? Here. Uh, here. Yes. This beautiful. Point. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. It was an absolute pleasure Same and a Same knowledge, here. you know, Thank bearing you. session for all of us. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank coming you. and blessing.